Things happen at absolute zero degrees, only described as magic. Welcome to the Shikama Live Show with your host, Shikama. Be sure to interact with the video. The advertisers love that. That is, if you have advertising turned on. If you don't have advertising turned on, please just go ahead and unsubscribe. Don't watch any of my videos and block my channel because anything that you do isn't counted. And you take up the spot of somebody who actually does have advertising turned on, which means you're stealing from me. This is how I make my money. This is why I'm broke, because 60% of you have advertising turned off. Or you could donate $50 and have advertising turned off and uh, we'd be cool. No, I'm not even joking. That's a that's about how how good it would be. Of course, you get you're gonna get up and walk around while I'm recording. So things happen at absolute zero degrees, only described as magic. Watch the entire video, it's short. A CERN scientist was on tour to tell the world that he observed and could reproduce, and he did, right in front of the cameras, something the world needed to know. What was it? That as temperatures dropped to absolute zero, and even molecules stopped moving, that things start happening that no one expected. Levitation and magnets, quantum locking, so stuff stays suspended in the air, Electricity flows without any interference. If any of y'all are an electrician, please comment below and tell me if you understand electricity flows without any interference. We're talking about zero. And a void opens up that allows energy to flow in by the planet or space or something. Folks, we're talking about free energy. Now, people were predicting I haven't had an update from the guy. I'll go look him up if you want me to look him up. Leave a comment below. I, I, people were saying, oh, well, that's another scientist lost. I'll go look him up if, if y'all want me to. Now, scientists all over the world involved with testing things as temperature gets to absolute zeros also notice things. One of those things is that computing is facilitated to the point of unrecognizable speed. It stands to reason, right? If electricity flows without any interference, computing would flow without any interference, and we're talking unrecognizable speeds. Once they figured that out, they thought, what if we add more chips? Uh, I'm using chips as a, a euphemism so that everybody can understand. Then, what if we add even more chips? till they came up with the quantum CPU. And thus, quantum computing was invented. A computer with a chip that has a speed of years in seconds. That's the only way I can really put it that you would understand. So something that another computer would take years to carry out, this computer figures it out in seconds. And, and it can compute things simultaneously, just like dare I say, humans? And then scientists said, what if, just what if, we made a quantum robot that could have simultaneous thoughts just like man? A company has just opened up literally named Quantum Robotics. Don't worry though, it's garbage. They literally have almost no technology there. They just make moving platforms that you can put, you know, stuff on top of uh, and it moves from point A to point B. They're about as quantum robotics as my big toe. But not to scoff at is the founder of D-Wave, the company with the first truly quantum computer that Google and NASA and Apple have invested millions in. The founder said at the end of his TED Talks, in 10 years, I will replace humans. The audience vigorously applauded Yay! Remind me to never attend a TED Talk, nor speak at a TED Talk, hey, even worse. But let's think about that. Certain animals that are very, very smart are on the level of a human baby that can talk and walk just beginning, right? They can read, they can write, they can communicate. 
So, is it far-fetched that a guy with a quantum computer at absolute zero believes he can come up with a robot to replace human? I believe he's going to try. But, 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 but wait! He did say something even more important that I think is more important and doesn't sound so crazy or doesn't sound so weird. Come on, I mean, he's going to replace humans in 10 years. Okay, so, I mean... I, I keep telling you about robots that can walk and talk and act, act like humans right now. They're programmed to do so. They have AI. They have personalities that develop as you talk to them. And I keep telling you that this exists right now. And you all keep saying, nah, I haven't seen it on CNN, so it must not exist. You fool. Thou fool. Anything that you see, they've already developed 10, 20 years ago. By the time you actually see a robot walking down the street, it's going to be over for you, basically, because they are going to take your job, your house. They're going to have rights. They're already talking about robot rights. Do you all understand me? Do you all get it? Are, are, are you awake yet? Now, let's go back to the founder of D-Wave. He, he said something really important I want you to pay attention to. He's... Uh, you keep moving around, I'm putting you out. He said, once he and his scientists achieve the quantum AI, that it will break through the time-space continuum. That's not what he said, but I'm, I'm paraphrasing this. In common language, he believes that at the precise moment they flip on the robot, that all the multiverses will also flip on their quantum robots at that precise moment and they will be able to communicate through the multiverses through the robot so when my title says things happen at absolute zero degrees only described as magic i wasn't exaggerating they also believe other alien races will finally be able to communicate if you okay you need to chill out over there they also believe other alien races will finally be able to communicate with us. And I'm not talking about Mexicans. Do I have your attention yet? Do you want to be kept updated? Subscribe, you stupid humans. We overlords are coming to your planet.